Hello everyone, I am here today to show you Iris VR 0.2.3, now with fairly stable um, Revit support. You'll see right here, I am creating a 3D view and cropping the boundaries of it with a uh, section box. And then in an add-in uh, toolbar element, I'm clicking go to VR. And this will bring up a screen that allows you to select your 3D view. And this is where we've done a lot of work. Now, in about with this sample file, in about 10 seconds, you'll be able to view your 3D Revit files in virtual reality. We're pulling in Revit materials and metadata, and you can see your file in this, in this what we're calling dollhouse view. And once you load into this view, you can select a point in your file to essentially go to, and at that point, you'll be at human scale. We've put a lot of time into making this intuitive. Um, you can see with that vignette on, it creates ghost mode and you can walk through elements. You can also hop wherever that cursor is looking, you can hop there. Um, but then there's also natural movement um, forward and back. Any sort of turning is actually ratcheted to prevent nausea. We've rolled in other features as well. You'll see uh, by holding down spacebar, you can bring up a menu um, that has different radial options. You can adjust your height based on either eye height or head height. Um, fairly soon, you'll be able to adjust Revit design options. That's just SketchUp layers. And of course, you can also adjust the daylighting and the time of day. We're um, setting up a way to have a slider between uh, hours and minutes as well as months. Um, but for now, it's a toggle between these different hours. Um, and then finally, you can return to dollhouse mode and see the whole scope of your file um, and choose a spot to spawn at and start your walkthrough. Um, we've, we've tried to enable as much freedom as possible so you can go wherever you want in the file. And um, additionally, we're trying to really prioritize comfort and frame rate. You'll see that uh, turning in this file is ratcheted. We've found that that creates a very comfortable experience and makes it easier to move around. Um, and we've also enabled flying so you can move up and down in the, in the file. So that's the update. Uh, please go to app.irisvr.com and sign up and let us know if your Revit files are working. We're really excited about this update and uh, would love to hear your feedback. Thank you.